message now most of your campaigns are probably going to include your direct whatsapp link so once you are running this campaign new contacts new numbers are probably going to message your whatsapp number like Elia said away messages and welcome messages is a big no so you probably have to talk to these numbers yourself it could be stressful depending on the number of messages you are going to be getting but it's definitely going to be worth it when a new number messages you in inquiry for your service that you have advertised on you welcome them you tell them about your business and your service ask them how you can help them actualize what they want then depending on their response you send images or videos of what you have for sale or if you are using whatsapp business you can easily send them your catalog and they can view your catalog and let you know which item they want to buy and it's also very important to indicate the price of whatever you have for sale or the price of whatever service you are rendering when sending it to them whether they are going to patronize you at that point in time or not you have to actually ask and request them to save your number and you in turn you save their number so they can be viewing your whatsapp stories or your whatsapp status and if you are going to be posting other items you have for sale or the same item that you've probably shown to them they will see it this is retargeting when completely converted that's they've actually made a purchase they've patronized you it's always very very important that you ask them to leave a review now where are they going to leave that review they're going to leave the review on your direct message probably send you an image of what they bought from you you can simply screenshot it and add it to your whatsapp catalog in the review section or you can repost it on your whatsapp stories or your whatsapp status or you keep it in case any other new customer or new contact is asking for previous reviews and you send it to them you can also share them a link to your twitter instagram or facebook page so they can leave reviews there probably on a post you made on twitter or an instagram post or on your facebook page these reviews are very very important as it helps future customers to be able to trust you more already have a business be it online or offline and you want to promote it on whatsapp or you're already promoting your business on whatsapp and you want to learn how you can increase your sales and your conversion rate but for the sake of completion of this course we are going to learn different types of business you can promote using whatsapp basically you can promote any type of business as long as it's legal for example you run a barber's shop you can promote your business on whatsapp and get people to visit your shop you're a caterer you can promote what you do on whatsapp and get people to place an order for your products and services you're a graphic designer you're a video editor you're a web designer you're a programmer whatever the case may be you can promote the services you offer and the services that you render on whatsapp following the processes that we have laid down previously you can also be an affiliate for a larger business or a larger online store and promote their services or their goods online and you get a percentage for every sale that you make or do you have a blog you can also promote your blogs on whatsapp you can post your blog links on your whatsapp status have a group where you post links to articles on your blogs or you can send articles of your blogs to your contacts using broadcast message that's if they're interested in being on your broadcast list and lastly you can also be an influencer on whatsapp using the process that we've laid down previously you can gather as much contacts as possible increase your whatsapp status page and start getting people to pay you for running adverts on your own whatsapp status 
the higher your whatsapp status views the higher you are probably going to charge for your advert and the more people are likely going to be interested in paying you for adverts you could be posting informative content depending on the niche you want to go into you could go into the sports niche you go into cooking niche you could just be posting funny content and each post you make on your whatsapp status be sure to add your number on a picture or on the right top using canva or in short so as to get other people seeing that video or that image to know that you are the actual source of the image or the video canva canva is wonderful you can do so many graphics so many designs easily on canva you can add your watermarks to any image that you want to post on whatsapp using canva also so canva is our number one app that can help you on your whatsapp marketing journey the second app is InShot. InShot is primarily for videos creating videos creating slideshows adding your number adding watermarks to your videos editing videos that you have recorded and so on and so forth the next app is whatsapp status saver this app helps you to save status of your contacts that have been posted on their whatsapp status it helps you to save those images or videos that your contact have posted on your whatsapp status directly to your phone and in turn you can repost these images or videos you can also get these images or videos and edit them on canva or on InShot, then repost it on your whatsapp status this whatsapp status saver is available on both android play store and ios app store the last we have on the list is contacts to vcf and csv creator or converter there are so many of these apps on play store and app store so you choose the one that is best suitable for your phone as a whatsapp marketer your primary asset is your whatsapp contacts so at a point in time you may probably be moving from one phone to the other unluckily you may lose your phone by accident now you have to learn how to back up your contacts majorly all your contacts should be on your email address so anytime you are changing phone you just log into that email address and your contact automatically moves to that phone but you can also save your contact in a vcf or csv files using these applications and this contact can be easily imported in any device that has these files so probably you save it to your drive or you save it on your icloud any new phone or any phone you want to move these contacts to you send the files to the phone and you import the contacts to the other phone directly from the files you could also save just your contact on a vcf or csv file and send this file to anybody on whatsapp that want to save your number so they can easily save your number from these files with just one click policies it's quite easier to get banned on whatsapp especially if you are using whatsapp business now to avoid getting banned on whatsapp you have to follow the following procedures first of all do not send a lot of messages to numbers who do not have you in their contacts at the same time if you do that you are probably or most likely going to get banned one of the major reasons why people get banned on whatsapp is when a lot of numbers have reported or blocked them on whatsapp to avoid this follow the first procedure as indicated do not send bulk messages to numbers that do not have you among their whatsapp contacts secondly do not add people to whatsapp groups without their consent this would also and most likely result to you getting banned on whatsapp especially if you are adding a lot of numbers to a certain whatsapp group at the same time thirdly the major reason that people get banned on whatsapp is because they are getting reported or blocked by other whatsapp users most likely because you are messaging them and they do not have your number so they are probably going to report as a spam or you are adding them to groups without their consent so they are also probably going to report it as a spam and also you adding them to a broadcast list now they may be your contact and you are probably also in their contact list 
but you added them to a broadcast list without informing them first or without giving them an option to opt out from your broadcast list so there is every chance they may not want to be on your broadcast list so they may end up blocking you or in worst case in them reporting and blocking you this when done by a multiple of whatsapp users to your number is most likely going to get you banned on whatsapp using third-party automated tools and apps for sending automated messages this is a very big red flag and is definitely going to get you banned on whatsapp besides the app that have been indicated in the previous lecture it's advisable not to use any other app also avoid sending automated messages on whatsapp to a lot of people sound and chat as human as possible do not just copy and paste messages to several of your contacts it's going to be a red flag to whatsapp and the whatsapp algorithm will probably think you are a robot and you are most likely going to get banned on whatsapp then lastly avoid using modded whatsapp there are several modded whatsapp out there and you should avoid using it use only whatsapp business or normal whatsapp me personally i prefer the normal whatsapp because you are less likely to get banned on normal whatsapp and you are most likely to get banned on whatsapp business let's say you are unlucky and your number has probably been banned on whatsapp the next lecture we are going to talk on how you can get back your banned whatsapp number on whatsapp and you try to register it again and you receive a message that your number has been banned on whatsapp first of all if you have another whatsapp on your phone that hasn't been banned it's advisable to uninstall that whatsapp because probably that other number is going to get banned also if possible do a factory reset on your phone change your connections change your wi-fi connection because all this has probably been associated with that banned whatsapp number and any other new whatsapp you register with that number and that phone you are most likely going to also get banned on it so having done that when you get a pop-up that your whatsapp number has been banned there is an option for support and cancel you click on support on the next screen click on none of the reasons above now whatsapp is going to open your email app and compose an automated message do not send yet first of all you change the email address from support at smb.whatsapp.com to just support.whatsapp.com then also include a personal message as to why your number should be unbanned it's advisable to tell them that you are unaware of any policy that you have probably violated and you will not violate it in the near future and they should please get your number unbanned you can also include the whatsapp number and definitely include the log file that has been generated then you send the mail most of the time you are going to receive an automated response that they are looking into it in few minutes if you still don't get a response if you have an alternative email address that you are using use that email address and resend the same mail to them after some time ranging from a few hours to a few days whatsapp is probably going to send you a mail that your whatsapp account has been reactivated this is not guaranteed to work probably if your number has been banned more than one times maybe two three four times there is every chance that your number has been permanently banned the most likely option for you to do is to create a new number and start all over again 